I'm really worried about my butter chicken. I'm worried that chicken is burnt and there's a bitterness to the dish. How did you feel at the end of that cook? <sighs> 15 minutes to do. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, Susie, oh. you're right, mate. Fire up. I don't have a lot of time left. I've got to get on to my roadie as quickly as possible. I want to make sure that it looks good and that it's thin enough. Sarah has been struggling today, but she has caught up pretty well. Susie, you're killing it. Come on, buddy. I hope that she makes the roti right. I know that I'm running out of time. Okay, well, as thinly even as possible. What are you stressing about? Um, I'm stressing about when I put the butter on. I'm stressing about how much dough I've got here. I know I've got a little bit too much. I'm just trying to get it really thin without it sticking to the bench. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Oh. That's it. That's better. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. OK. Yeah. On the hot block. Not bad at Well all. done. Well done. That's good. Cool. That's cool. There's one. Yeah. The roti's looking really good. It's like magic. I'm going to be cooking everything on upside down pans at home from now on. We'll do it for 15 seconds. Oh my god. Come on, Sarah. Keep Never going. Before. Just keep pushing. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>, what's the? <laughs> keep it up, Jesse. In each flip, the roti should be starting to dry up and start to have little brown bubbles on the outside. You're happy with that? Yeah. Once I'm really happy with the roti, I take it off the heat, brush it with some butter, and fold it into an envelope. I'm feeling really, really good about my roti. Wow, that's nice. It looks nearly exactly like Strange's. Good job, Jess. Fantastic. My chicken, I stress it for 20 minutes. I break it into some small chunks. What do you reckon? Yeah, I'm really happy with happy that. You're happy with that? Yeah, very. I get into my butter chicken sauce and mix it in well. This is tie-up time. Five minutes to go. Come on. I finished all of my elements. I just need to plate. I'm so, so happy with this dish. I'm just hoping it's as close to Sriracha as possible. Come on, Chloe, you got to move. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, guys. Come on. I've got to get plating. If I don't get all my elements onto this dish, then I will go home today. One minute to go! One minute! Come on, guys, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Keep going! Go, 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 go! Overall, I'm really happy with the flavours in my dish. The coriander chutney is pretty close to Saranch's dish. Come on, Sarah! Come on, Sarah! Come on, More than anything, I'm just really happy that I got a dish up. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking! Good job! Good job, baby, Jay. <laughs> Sezzy, you killed it. Well done, Chloe. <laughs> That was one hell of a cook, but I'm so proud of myself. I can't believe I did it. I made butter chicken. I'm just sitting here trying to remember, this kitchen has never smelled so spicy. <laughs> it's never been yeah. so smoky. Yeah. Yeah. Insane challenge, uh, awesome challenge, uh, but some serious consequences at the end of it. We're all going to get a version of your butter chicken. The yeah. question is, will someone nail it? Because I think that's what you're hoping for, yeah. isn't it? You want someone to nail your dish and for us to all enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a, a fair amount of trouble, but the main thing is, the smell of this place now smells like a, a truck stop. Forever. I feel like I'd be hopping my Mahindra and carrying on down the road, but only after a really, really good butter chicken. Mm. Well, let's find out. Let's get the first one in. How did you go, Chloe? I'm pretty happy with my efforts and 
Yeah, it was a beautiful dish to replicate, so I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you talked about hope or fear at the beginning of the day. You couldn't have hoped for anything better, no? Oh, this is your kind of food, isn't I it? I couldn't have hoped for anything better. Definitely my food. I love comfort food. I love Indian cuisine. So it was definitely right up my alley, and I hope I've done it justice. Chloe, time for us to taste. Thank, thank you. you. What do you think? Mm. Looks exactly the same. Those romalis have been cooked nicely. The onions look pickled. The texture looks nice. Ooh, I think she's done a good job by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah, it looks fantastic. <laughs> it smells good too. It, it looks like you've been out the back and just nicked one of yours. Smells like just stuck out the door, didn't grab one and brought them out. Yeah, it yeah it's great. great. It's, it's great. You know what's noticeable about this butter chicken is just the colour of the sauce. It really stands out. It's almost identical to yours. Wow. Hey, Gary, do you need to make do you need to make sure? <laughs> you know what I'm doing here? <clears throat> I'm searching for faults. Yeah. I'm trying to go, okay, is the, you know, is the onion good enough? The ramali, is it thin enough? Is it toasty enough? I think it's it's pretty damn close to yours, Saranch. It really is. I can't believe it. It looks like I have cooked this. The the spicing in everything is perfect. The heat that runs across the dish is just a mellow murmur. The pickles are delicious. They've got great crunch to them. They've got good sweetness. That, that level of smoke she's managed to achieve and the cooking of the chicken, it's so impeccable. And she's got the smoke just yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. It really is beautiful. <laughs> I'm a little shocked. Yeah, this is exceptionally, exceptionally good. You always end up feeling nobody cooks it like you do. It kind of feels like somebody can cook like <laughs> Right, let's get the next butter chicken in. I'm really worried about my butter chicken. I'm worried that chicken is burnt and there's a bitterness to the dish. How did you feel at the end of that cook? Yeah, like kind of either going for a run or collapsing into a puddle, and I wasn't sure which one. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> it was amazing. It's such beautiful food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure your son <laughs> yeah. would love that. Oh, yeah, he would. Yeah? He likes a bit of spice, too. Yeah, yeah. Is Mum safe? There are definitely some technical difficulties in the dish. There's Tell us. some things. Um, the chicken was a bit smoky because I left the skin on the chicken. Why is that? By the time I'd realised I had it on the grill and I thought, you know, a little extra smokiness, a bit of the skin in there might not be a bad thing. I like smokiness as well, you know. You get a sense sometimes when you walk in the kitchen, this is what we hear from past contestants, that they, they know when they're going home. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that way today. Why is that? I, you know, I, um, I tasted Saranch's dish and I think mine's just a little bit too... <laughs> yeah, just a bit too much in the butter chicken. If you do go home, what happens? If I go home today, I keep working on my dream. I want to work with people who grow their own fruit and veg in collaboration, and I want to open a restaurant with a farm. I want to use only Australian-grown local produce, and I want to work with people that are really passionate about the produce. I want to see it from the ground to the plate. Let's just hope that you don't start making those phone calls for a couple more weeks and you survive today. Sarah, thank oh, you very much. Crossed. Thank you. Well taste. Thanks, it. guys. All the best, Sarah. Thank you. Saranch, what do you think? If I had to compare it to the one that Chloe had served, the colour of the uh, butter chicken looks slightly different. Also, I see too much texture on it. The bread and the chutney looks on point. Okay.
you know what? It's got some punch, it's got texture, mm. it's pushed, and I quite like that. It's certainly not subtle in any way. So it's tasty, but then once you reference your dish, Saranch, yeah. then you realise that it's kind of way off. She's careered off into a different zone. <laughs> yeah, she has. <laughs> the great thing about your butter chicken saranch is that it's, um, it's smoky, but this just tastes charry. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm picking up a, a bit of char flavour at the front of the palate, and that's a problem. It's interesting. Yeah. She could be in trouble.